writer-director working in Hollywood during the time of a really historic strike. Really two strikes because the Writers Guild of America have been on strike for nearly a hundred days starting Tuesday, May 23rd, which is the first time the writers have gone on strike in 15 years. The last strike was in the end of 2007 and it lasted a total of a hundred days. And the reason this strike is especially historic is because as of July 13th, the Screen Actors Guild, the actors, joined the WGA on strike. This strike is addressing modern issues like the abuse of AI, compensation for streaming, and other working conditions like exploitative audition demands for actors, and minimum staff requirements for writers as writers' rooms are getting increasingly small. The 2007 strike for writers was really important in securing the digital sales of their shows. That was when Netflix was first starting the Orange is the New Black people. The creators, writers, actors talked a lot about navigating that at that time, and obviously now, you know, streaming, etc., AI capabilities are 15 years down the line in the future and it needs to be addressed now. I talked a lot about the Writers Guild in my last video, but the Screen Actors Guild represents 160,000 people in categories such as I have to read the list because it's so long. Actors, announcers, broadcast journalists, dancers, DJs, news, um, news writers, news editors, program hosts, puppeteers, recording artists, singers, stunt performers, voiceover artists, other media professionals, um, intimacy coordinators, which I am, also join, this, join SAG when they join the union working on union shows, so all of those people are on strike, and that includes a lot of people who host reality television programming, so the, the scope of what can be, be filmed right now is extremely limited. And it might be even closer to you than you think because a lot of content creators um, and influencers are utilized in the marketing of movies and TV shows, etc. So everyone is on strike from all of those things. The unions say that the strike will continue until the negotiating parties, the AMPTP, come to the table ready to negotiate for living wages and the other concerns brought up. Collective bargaining, like you see here, is how we even the playing field. Let's support worker power, go out to the picket lines, show your support on social media, um, and just, you know, be aware of what is considered crossing a picket line, and don't cross the picket lines, guys. Don't do it! It is a very strange and challenging time to be working in Hollywood in general, especially as a writer and director, but I am so grateful to have the opportunity to direct some smaller, non-union music videos and short films, projects like this that I'm showing. It's pretty scary to be faced with the fact that this career I've been building towards could cease to exist because people with really, really big boats want really, 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 really big boats. And to hear that people think that creatives could be replaced with robots and AI is discouraging. Frankly, it pisses me off, but I'm trying to use that anger to fuel the artist inside of me that is endlessly curious about human nature and storytelling. And that is the stuff that I know that robots cannot replicate the nuances of what it means to be a human. And that looks like creating art with friends, that looks like a lot of introspection and self-discovery that I know that AI is simply not capable of. I'm taking this time to really focus on my identity as an artist and the stories that I want to tell because I have to have faith that there will be the opportunity to tell them and we will come out on the other side of this. In terms of these projects in particular, these are music videos that I directed for an amazing musical artist, Jesse J. Joplin. And, you know, I'm grateful for every single day I get to spend on set as a director and the lessons that I learn and the things that each day and each project teaches me, especially in terms of dealing with curveballs. I think that that is a really important thing to work on as a director. I've really been practicing, you know, thinking on my feet and making decisions that serve the story um and don't you know overwork a crew it's really important to me to not work people over time and to have you know positive working environments and things like that all right so we're here on set we're taking a little break we're switching the camera into slow motion over on the side of u-haul i don't know if that's the final song name but we've got all of our lovely cast here we've got our beautifully set up u-haul um and we're raging the night away <laughs> Um, and it's looking so good. I love creating gay art. Like, this is a job. A plus, love it. Everyone looks impeccable. And yeah, we're so excited. I'm getting screenplays ready for after the strike and doing what I can in the meantime. And that's what I encourage all of you to do as well. I'm going to put links to some financial resources if you are someone who is affected by the strike. We just have to have faith that we will persevere and get what we deserve as creatives and that we will have the opportunity to be the storytellers that we were born to be.